Hi guys, I am Suprabha. In this video, we will study next point that is vector differentiation. For this, we need few basics. Let us first understand what is scalar point function and vector point function. Starting with scalar point function, it is function that assigns scalar to each point of region of space. We will consider one example and then understand the definition. f of x, y, z is equal to 3xy plus 4y plus 2xz. Now, if you substitute the values of x, y, z in this function, output of this function will always be a scalar quantity. So, this is nothing but scalar point function. We will simply substitute the values x equal to y equal to z equal to 1. 3 plus 4 plus 2 gives 9. So, output is a scalar quantity. Scalar field. Scalar point function defined over some region. It simply means that the region from which the values of x, y, z are chosen is nothing but the scalar field or scalar region. Moving on, vector point function. It is function that assigns vector to each point of region of space. We will consider the previous example f of x, y, z is equal to 3xy i cap plus 4y j cap plus 2xz k cap. Now, i cap, j cap and k cap are unit vectors on the coordinate axis x, y, z respectively. Considering the same values of x, y, z, answer will be 3i cap plus 4j cap plus 2k cap. Now, if you compare both the answers, output of this function was 9, that is scalar quantity. Output of this function is a vector quantity. So, we say that it is vector point function. Vector field. Vector point function defined over some region. It means the region or space from where the values of x, y, z are taken is the vector region or vector field. Moving on to vector differentiation. Now, simply consider the motion of particle in this manner. If we join all these points, we get the curve C. This is the motion of particle at various time instants. If we join these points, we get curve C. Now, if we consider the same motion of particle in 3D space, 3D space will have three axes x y and z. So, this is the curve. This is the initial point or initial position and this is the final position. If we consider the vector at the initial point, it is denoted by r of t and for the final position, it is r t plus h. So, this time instant is t and this is t plus h. So, this gap will be h. We know the formula of velocity, it is displacement divided by time. We know displacement is final position minus initial position. Final position here is t plus h and initial position is t. So, we can write r t plus h final position minus initial position divided by time. In this case, time is h. So, we will write it h. Now, instantaneous velocity. For the instantaneous velocity, v of t, h will tend to 0. So, we can write v of t is equal to limit h tends to 0, r t plus h minus r of t divided by h. And we know this is derivative d by dt of r. It is also denoted as r dot. Next, acceleration. Acceleration is derivative of v of t. d by dt of v of t. So, this will be the double derivative of r. So, we can write d square by dt square r and double derivative is given by two dots. 
we'll consider one example for this i'll write the example here f of t is equal to 4t cube plus 2t square okay first for velocity we need the simple derivative so v of t or the instantaneous velocity is given as 12t square plus 4t and acceleration double derivative of v of t d by dt of v of t it will be 24t plus 4 for more information we will simply substitute the value of t equal to 1 so v of t will be 12 plus 4 is 16 and here it will be 24 plus 4 that is 20 so we can say instantaneous velocity is 16 and acceleration is 28 now if you see we had considered the this with respect to one variable suppose there are three variables so simple differentiation cannot be considered for that we move on to the partial derivation partial derivative so in this case we will consider the derivative of position vector with respect to x y and z so we get d by dx of r d by dy of r and d by dz of r that is nothing but derivative of position vector with respect to x y and z this is the partial derivative we will consider one example now with respect to r here we will get 3 y i cap plus this will be 0 as it is with respect to x this will be 5 z k cap similarly with respect to y this term will be 3 x i cap plus 2 j cap last term will be 0 as it is with respect to y and with respect to z first two terms will be 0 and the last will be pi x k cap so this is all about vector differentiation hope you have understood the concept thank you thank you for watching my video hope the concept is clear for any doubts and suggestions please let me know in the comment box for more details you can refer these videos guys help us to help you so please like share and subscribe my video thank you